and more medium term. There are already four vaccine candidates in development and it's likely that there will be one or two that will go into human trials in about three to four months from now. So that itself would be a very rapid uh, progress. <laughs> Uh, COVID-19 was really, I guess, discovered at the end of December and really the rest of the world didn't know the sequences of the virus until the end of January. Um, so it's actually kind of remarkable that I, for us to even say right now we're in um, preclinical stage, that is the stage where uh, candidate vaccines are actually being tested in animals. Uh, with some of the companies anticipating that they may start at the end of this month um, and other companies anticipating that they will start in humans in April. So we're in preclinical and we're entering phase one for some of the vaccine candidates. So in the lab, you can grow human lung cells and then infect them with the virus. Where do we get the virus from? Basically from the nose of patients. And you can basically take a swab from the nose and then culture, grow the virus in the lab to large volumes. And then we can use that to uh, check if certain medications are blocking or preventing the, the growth of the virus in human cells in the lab. But our team and other teams are well on their way uh, with prototype vaccines that may uh, hopefully in a year or 18 months from now be, uh, have been tested in sufficient number of people and be upscaled to sufficiently high number of, of doses so that we can protect um, human mankind. But of course, I mean, it takes a long time before you have a, a vaccine. Okay. Sorry. Sorry.